Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more credit information. Do you have negative items on your credit report that need to be removed, such as charge off, collections, repossessions, even bankruptcies? Well, check out my credit repair bundle at my website. The link will be in the description of this video. Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to bring you a video on how Equifax is being sued because they've given out millions of inaccurate credit reports. Now there's a class action lawsuit and I want to tell you how you can take advantage of this situation. Now, if you're new to my channel, I bring you content to help you no matter where you are on your credit journey. This channel is credit education, not credit repair. And credit is an algorithm and it's based off of your financial behavior. So you need to learn how to make good financial decisions with your credit. So I teach you different hacks to help you increase your credit score and improve your life. So if you like that kind of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. Now, Equifax has admitted that they have given out inaccurate credit reports. Now with these credit reports, this is for people who were really going for loans and some of these people may have gotten denied for loans, for a home, car loan, credit cards, and they are saying it is true. But on Equifax side, they're saying they predict about 300,000. 300,000 still is a lot of folks, even with them being at a mission of incorrect credit reports because somebody might have got denied a job just because of that and couldn't make an income because of their erroneous credit report. So with Equifax, this is what they're amending to, but it's suspected that they've given out millions of inaccurate credit reports. Now they're claiming it was from March 16th through April 6th. I will leave the article in the description of the video. But there is a woman out of Jacksonville, Florida, who said her credit score had decreased by 130 points. Equifax claim they only influence credit scores to change by 25 points. And they said it could have been more than the uh, average of that person credit score, or it could have been less. But either way, people with a 25 point dip in their credit score it makes a difference in their interest rate and whether they get approved for that credit score. With this lady situation, in January of 2022, she was pre-approved for auto loan. And then she decided to go for that loan in March. And she ended up finding out that her score had changed by 130 points. So she no longer qualified for that loan or any prime loan. So she had to go a subprime route of going to a buy here, pay here dealership. And she's paying $150 more in her car payment due to their era. Now, with that situation, she's locked into that contract once you sign those papers, which probably happened with a lot of people who had this same issue. You could have went for a car loan and the score was less and now you got a different interest rate, which is a higher interest rate. And now that you signed those documents, you agreed with that lender on paying that interest rate. So a lot of people have been victimized in that situation. Also, if you went for a home, people at that time was looking to take advantage of the lower interest rates to buy a home. 
when you're looking for a home, they look at all three credit scores. They look at your highest credit score. So they'll look at your mid score and your lowest credit score. So what they'll take is your mid score, not the highest, not the lowest, but the one in the middle. So if that was Equifax for you, you could have got a interest rate that were much higher on a 30 year loan. So this have caused a lot of damage for people. And once you sign that mortgage for paying that interest rate, you're locked in, you're obligated to that interest rate. So now this lady is bringing forth a class action lawsuit. The attorney that is representing her is Morgan and Morgan. They have had a lawsuit against Equifax prior for their data breach a couple of years ago. So I'm going to leave their website in the description of this video if you feel like you've been victimized by this situation. I suggest anybody that have gotten a loan, you need to look at your Equifax credit report. Look in your inquiry section and see if you got a car loan, for instance. See if your car loan, say if it was SunTrust Bank, Chase Bank, did they pull from Equifax? If you saw that they have a hard pull and now you got a car loan with them, you could have been victimized if you were in that window of time that they had these erroneous credit reports okay now i wouldn't put it past them i would stretch it out even a little before and a little after those dates because this is only what they're admitting to so who knows if they didn't know about the problem how long the problem was really going on so if you got a credit card recently check to see if your equifax credit profile was pulled in order to give you that credit card and it might have dictated for you a higher interest rate. Now, if you're a person who didn't get anything or a loan at that time, still, this is a perfect time if you have some incorrect negative items on your Equifax report to challenge them. I have a DIY credit repair package at my website with letters to challenge this type of inaccurate information. So if you're a person that got negatives on your Equifax report, go ahead and challenge it now. Look for anything that's inconsistent. I don't care if the item is true, if you owe it. It's not about that. They have to make sure it's 100% complete and it's a hundred percent accurate so if you have anything missing incorrect if it's not consistent with the other credit bureaus attack it now and guess what they're already in a hot seat so if you send a round or two of letters and they haven't removed the item then go to the consumer financial protection bureau website and file a complaint they're already under the microscope for their wrongdoings in this situation. So hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully you guys can take advantage of this situation to get these negative items off your credit report. So if you have any questions, put your comments and questions in the comment section. If you have private questions for me, go to my website, submit your questions, all your questions go directly to my cell phone. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.